you never know if tonight is the night that some important person is going to stumble into the place that you happen to be playing mm. that can yeah. change your life. Right. And that's how my career yeah. got started. All right, so go back. Here are the Dixie Dregs. We're playing in all these different states in the southern part mm. of the country. Mm-hmm. And we're playing a club in Nashville called the Exit Inn, which most of the time has country musicians playing there. Okay. Here we are, the Dixie Dregs, doing whatever you want to call yeah. this instrumental hybrid of a lot of different styles of music. Yeah. And one by one, each of us notices a famous musician sitting at the bar. Ah. All right, so yeah. we kick it into high gear and give it our all. So at the end of our set, Chuck Lavelle, oh. the piano player from the Allman Brothers wow. in 1976, mm-hmm comes over to us and he had that look on his face of someone that just saw something that yeah. you know <laughs> really moved them yeah. and said uh, who are you guys mm. mm-hmm. and where can I buy your records he said I'm on tour with the Allman Brothers we had a night off I thought I'd come in have a beer and see some local yeah. country band and and I'm <laughs> seeing this instrumental fusion <laughs> You know, Mahavishnu Orchestra kind of group, whatever. So yeah, um, amazing. It's because of him that mm. we got the first record deal. Because wow. true to his word, the next day he called Phil Walden, who was the president of Capricorn Records, told him about the band he had seen the night before mm. and said, you have to sign them. And mm. so not that many weeks later, a uh, show was set up for us to play in the hometown of Capricorn Records, Macon, Georgia. Mm. And Phil Walden brought his entire label out to see this band that Chuck Lavelle was raving about. And uh, the Allman Brothers happened to be off. You know, they weren't on tour, so Chuck was at the show and he Mm. came up and, you know, we jammed on Jessica. Wow. (laughs) Amazing. Yeah. And at the end of the night, the president of the label came up to us, shook each of our hands and said, boys, you got yourselves a deal. Mm-hmm. 